It's a decision that's been in the works for years now. Where will the Pentagon select for the permanent home of U.S. Space Command? Next week, top ranking officials with the Air Force will visit Peterson Air Force Base to see what the Pikes Peak region has to offer. KRDO News Channel 13's Chase Golightly spoke with Congressman Doug Lamborn and Mayor John Southers about what exactly the military is looking for. Chase. Bart, this will be the last opportunity Colorado Springs has to prove that Peterson Air Force Base should be the permanent home for U.S. Space Command. Now leaders are getting prepared for this very important visit. After all the work Colorado Springs leaders have done to become one of six finalists for the permanent location for U.S. Space Command, Congressman Doug Lamborn says what's ahead will be the most important. Those are going to be two really big days. He's talking about Air Force officials coming to Colorado Springs next week to visit Peterson Air Force Base the current but temporary headquarters. They're going to talk to the commanders of the various space related bases here to talk and make sure that they have their transportation needs met, the infrastructure met, if personnel are available when missions open up. Lamborn says Peterson already meets all the criteria they're looking for and more, including seven of the nine Space Force wings. We have the basic operations and people doing the war fighting right in place here right now. On December 22nd, Governor Jared Polis and Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers will give a presentation to those officials about the city and why it is the best fit for military members and their families. Obviously, we're working very hard in this uh, last couple of weeks uh, uh, to put a product together that the uh, community can be very proud of. Overall, both Lamborn and Southers feel very confident that Peterson Air Force Base will become the permanent headquarters. We have always contended that uh, if this is a merit decision, uh, we have an incredibly good case. The Pentagon is expected to make their final decision sometime in the beginning of next month. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Chase Colightly, KRDO News Channel 13.